One of the most annoying parts of any web browser has to be the fact that sometimes it crashes and then you lose your current tabs that are open. Luckily, Session Buddy is a great Chrome extension that will save sessions of your tabs so that you can access them later on. I'm Alex Bavalsik from HowToDoTech.com and this is how to save your tabs in Chrome. So Session Buddy is completely free in the Chrome App Store. Now, once you have Session Buddy installed, you get a little icon at the top, and by tapping that, you get the Session Buddy window. By default, it's going to show you your current session, so what you have open. Uh, eventually, this will update so that apps are gone, since I X'd out that tab. And then you have previous sessions. You can select the amount that you want open at any given time. So I have when I was watching House, and I have some analytics from YouTube, some downloads, and uh, my YouTube subscriptions. And of course, if you had more tabs open when you closed Chrome, these lists will grow. Now normally, Session Buddy will actually be very helpful for Chrome crashing. It will still save the session, but it's not always guaranteed. This is your best bet though. So if Chrome crashes, it doesn't restore your previous session, there is a chance that Session Buddy saved your last session. This also works with incognito tabs, so you may be going in incognito for some reason, maybe you don't want to automatically be logged into a site, but you still don't want to lose that window. This will still work for that. And of course, if you don't want to show up in your last five sessions and you want to save something for later use, you can save a session, like I've saved house right here, by going in a current session or previous session and hitting the save button right up here. Now you do have more options, viewing options, you have a kind of like a favorite option. You could always download the session uh, offline. Now you can access the settings for Session Buddy by hitting the settings gear icon and hitting settings. Of course, you have a lot of functional settings as well as appearance and filters and keyboard shortcuts, but you can go through those on your own time. Also, you have an ability to open the session without clicking on the link. So if I were to click on the link Google, it will open the Google page. Or if I was looking at this in a previous session, so maybe uh, my YouTube analytics by tapping that it opens it in a new tab but maybe I have a window with multiple tabs like this one right here and I want to open it in a separate window just have to hit the open in window button and it will restore that session in a separate window both tabs are open so that's also very helpful now you do have more options by hitting this arrow you can restore a set of windows restore to one window or uh, restore links in this window and um, of course you can choose a default and finally, you have the ability to combine sessions. So maybe I want to combine this session as well as this one. I'm going to hold down Shift so I can select both of these. And hitting this Merge option will merge these two sessions together. And I can give it a name. So I'll just call this a Test and hit OK. It's under my saved session as two separate windows. And of course, I could also merge these windows if I wanted to by hitting Unify Windows. It's all under one window. So it's a very helpful tool. The idea is it adds security or just save sessions for the future. Rather than bookmarking them, you can save them in separate areas that way you can always access them in the future. So we hope you have enjoyed this video from How To Do Tech. If you have any questions, you can leave them down in the comments below or email us at howtodotechyt at gmail.com. We do ask that if you have a question, you leave the device you're using as well as the operating system along with your question. How to do tech is on Google Plus and Facebook, so feel free to circle us and like us there. You can also ask us questions on those social media profiles. Click on the annotations now to go to any one of our videos or playlists. You can also click the links in the description to go to all of our playlists. Don't forget to like and subscribe.